everyone, it's Sandra Reynolds. I'm back with another video today. Today I wanted to do a review slash how-to on a popular lipstick that's been floating around lately called Lip Scents. Okay, so now I've seen a lot of people do reviews on Lip Scents, uh, but they don't know how to put it on. There's a special way to put it on. It's not like regular lipstick. You have to do it in very, very, very thin layers because if you do too many layers, then it's going to just fall off. It's going to like peel off almost. That's my just honest opinion on it. If you do too many layers or too thick of layers, it won't stay on like it's supposed to. Um, today I'm not wearing any makeup. I'm actually going to put the lipstick on and then I'm going to go to the gym and go to Walmart and do some errands. And then I'm going to come back and show you guys how it's lasted after a few hours of wearing it. But today I'm going to show you how to put it on. I'm going to tell you my completely honest review on it. Um, I don't sell it or anything. I just bought a few of them from a friend of mine who sells it. I really love it. I It's actually my go-to lipstick. I don't really wear lipstick that much or lip gloss, but ever since I found this lip scent, I, I actually love it. There are a few things about it though that I don't like, so I will be telling you guys those things. As always, before I get started, don't forget to click the red subscribe button and also click the bell to get notifications whenever I upload a new video. Let's get started on this review. Okay, so I have a few different colors. These are my colors. Still haven't done my nails from since my last video. <laughs> I don't know when I will. Maybe I'll make a video of it. Um, I like to do my nails kind of funky, so maybe I'll make a nails video. My next video is actually with my hair. Um, I'm washing it to prepare for it. Oh, I'm excited about that one. Something to do with hair, so um, stay tuned for that. But this is all my colors that I have from Lip Sense. We'll go through them all separately. First, I have Pink Champagne. Pink Champagne is actually my favorite, my absolute favorite. It's my go-to if I don't want anything bright or crazy. I don't really like lipstick that much, so I like to have something really subtle. So I like to go with Pink Champagne. It's a nice light pink color. I don't sell this, so I don't know all the like terms, if it's matte or if it's you know, sparkly. I don't know any of that. All I know is that what colors I like and what colors I have. I am going to have to choose which one I want to wear to the gym today and to Walmart and on my errands. So um, I'm not going to do pink champagne because when I put it on my skin, it hardly shows, even after three layers. So I'm going to be doing something that you guys can see the difference between now and a few hours from now. So the next one is Rose Ice. I have never worn Rose Ice. Um, it's too pink for me. It's way too bright for me, so I kind of shy away from this color. I'm not a really bright pink person. I will wear dark reds or bright reds, but I won't wear bright pinks. Uh, it's just it's not doesn't doesn't flatter on my skin tone. So the next one is sheer berry. I love sheer berry. It's a darker berry color, I guess you could say. It's sheer. There is a color called Berry, which I'm assuming is just a non-sheer version of this one, um, considering that this one is called Sheer Berry. But I love Sheer Berry. With Lip Sense, you can mix any of these colors together. You can mix any of the colors you want, and it'll create a new color. And that's another thing I love about uh, Lip Sense. When I first got this, I used to mix colors, but now I really like just the single colors, but that's just me. I, I plan on getting more Lip Sense so I can try different colors and re I can maybe mix some two together. But yeah, you can mix them. And I used to mix Sheer Berry with another color coming up. The next color is Caramel Latte. This is what Caramel Latte looks like. It's like an orangey color. I don't really like this color that much, honestly. Um, it's too orange. It's more of a fall color. I mean, I guess maybe in the fall I'll wear it or mix it. This is also a good mixing color to have just like one shade of it to make your color maybe a little darker. I would use this with pink champagne to make it more darker. But by itself, I'm not a huge fan of it. But it really depends on your skin tone. People with more fair skin tone maybe 
well would like this better. Another another favorite of mine, this is my second favorite, it's called Bella. It's a very popular color. It's it looks like an orange in this bottle, but it's not. It's more of a darker nude or nude color. Uh neuter color. Neuter color. <laughs> That's not a word, but Nude. It's like a nude color. Like I said at the beginning, you have to do light layers. If you don't do light layers, then it's going to come out to be way too dark. It's not going to be the color that it's supposed to be. You have to do very, very thin light layers in order to get that perfect shade. This next one is called Blue Red. It is very vibrant red. I had to get this color when I saw it because I have been dying before I bought this to to wear a red like this and I love it I only wear it if I'm going out I won't just wear it you know to the gym <laughs> or to Walmart but uh, I'll wear it if I'm going out with friends or with Dan but yeah those are my colors that I have now we have to pick out one to wear today and I think I'm gonna go with Bella uh, just because it's a really popular color and it's not too light a lot of people like Bella now before you put on lip scents, you have to make sure that your lips are completely dry and completely clean. Mine already are. I already took off all my makeup. I, you know, use makeup wipes. You can use whatever kind of cleanser you want. So we're going to do Bella, and we're going to top Bella off with Glossy, which is, I've used so much of it, there's probably hardly any left. I'm going to have to get some more. The, the gloss doesn't go on until it's the end. You're supposed to do three layers. I only do two because I don't know. It's just you have to play with it. You have to see like some colors you can get away with three, like uh, pink champagne. The first one I showed you, the light one, you can get away with three. I like to shy towards two. I think the perfect shade is with two. Okay, so we're gonna just do two. First things first, actually, I almost skipped my own steps. So, first things first is shake it. We have to shake it. I just like to like hit it along my hand. And I take it like this and then hit it again. So I hit it like this. And then hit it like this. That's all. I know when you first get it, you have this like tingling feeling on your lips. And that's normal. Um, I don't know what it is. It's bonding whatever there's a technical term I don't sell it so I don't know what the term is but we'll go ahead and put it on my lips so what you do is you just swirl it I like to just swirl it in circles try to get a little bit off of it and then just slowly bring it up and you could also if you still have too much just kind of scrape it off on the sides one other thing about lipstick is that one of these tubes will last you I believe four to six months I've had mine for at least, I want to say four months at least. Okay, so once you don't have a lot of product on the applicator, move in one direction. Don't go back and forth like you would a normal lipstick and try to do very light layers. And I did one on the bottom and one on the inner. And do the same thing on top. I went over a little bit, I'm like, okay. Just wipe it off. Wipe it off now because if you don't, you're going to have to use, they have an oops remover. I, di I didn't buy it. I just used my normal makeup wipes to remove them. Just like that. And you can tell that I did a little bit darker on the top than on the bottom. That's okay. It's not a big deal. That's why we do different layers. So I'm going to get more on my applicator, but not too much. Wipe off the excess product. Okay. And go in again. See, that's what I messed up. You're not supposed to go back and forth like that. Uh, you're just supposed to go in one direction.
that's two layers of Bella. I like I like the color just like that. I don't like it another shade. I think it looks fine just like that. It is sticky right now, but that's okay. I'm just gonna let it dry a little bit. Uh, that's another thing I did when I first got this is I never let it dry. I just added on the lipstick right away and then the lipstick would start to come off onto here as you can see it's starting to get colored a little bit it's not completely white that's because I did that if you don't let it dry and bond to your lips then it'll it'll come off onto your lip gloss also if you don't like texture of lip gloss you can blot it off with a piece of paper I don't mind it I think it makes it last longer in my opinion but um, I could be wrong um, I just I let it sit I put my gloss on and then I let it sit and then I'll reapply it throughout the day it normally lasts about four hours before I have to touch it up which is really good uh, and touching up is just like the insides here if you eat and while you have lip scents on you'll have to reapply just on the inner corners really um but everything else will stay i think it's just because it's more i hate this word but moist on the insides of your lips okay so i think it's dry now i even accidentally licked it once <laughs> so let's put the lip gloss on doesn't matter how you put it on you just put it on i like to put a lot on because it soaks up I don't like the look of lip gloss. Dan likes the look of, of lip gloss, but I don't. Sometimes I'll wear it for him because I know he likes it. See, that's plenty dark with just two layers, I think. See, it looks different on the skin than it does in the bottle. That's what I think. But that's that's lip sense okay, so I'm going to wear this to the gym and I'm gonna wear it to Walmart and I might have to stop one more place I'm not sure I'll, re I'll record more when I'm done with my errands and update you guys on how long it's been and the update on just got done with the gym I had a nice workout and I showered and here's the lip scents now the lip gloss is completely gone um, but the moisture is not too bad I need to probably reapply some lip gloss but since I didn't bring it with me I'm going to just add some chapstick on top just so I can keep the moisture so I don't have really dry lips I can tell I messed up now that I'm in better lighting okay so I'm going to go to Target and then I'm going to go to a grocery store and I will get back to you guys when I am back at home. Okay guys, so it is now almost 7 o'clock. It's 6.42. I left at 2.30, I believe it was 2.30. Um, I've been out and about shopping. And this is what it looks like now. I did add a little bit of chapstick to the top. Um, so it's still moist, it's not dry at all, but this is what I mean by touch-ups. If I were to want to go out right now, I would definitely have to touch up the inner corners here and underneath right here. Just probably one swipe across here and one swipe up here too. But other than that, this, the color's still there, doesn't budge. I've been sweating, I went and tried on clothes at Target. So, and then I went grocery shopping, so yeah, it's, the color does not move, not at all. Um, look, I'll even go like this. As long as you put it on the, the correct way, it'll stay with you throughout the whole entire day. I think I'll wrap up my video now, here, instead of going home, it's only, I only live 10 minutes away. Don't forget to subscribe and, and click the bell if you want notifications on when I upload my videos. Thanks for watching, bye!